this new Fortnite update could potentially ruin Fortnite Battle Royale as we know it. Hey everyone, LSP Elite is Crimson today, and you can see we're joined back on the Fortnite Battle Royale today. I'm really loving making Fortnite videos at the moment, I'm not stopping. I'm recording two videos today, one video is going to be kind of me giving my opinions on what's happening around Fortnite at this period of time, and later on today I'll be doing a challenge video, so make sure to expect a new video in around two days time. So today for this video, what I will be doing today is actually discussing my opinions on the potential new Fortnite update that they'll be bringing to matchmaking. Now if you're unaware of this update, it was announced that they were working on a new matchmaking criteria and this was around like a day or so ago or two days ago at the time of recording this and what they want to do is change matchmaking from just random players and putting players with a lower skill level with people with a high skill level they want to change that completely and make it skill based matchmaking so that means that the bad players go with the bad players and the good players go with the good players but before we get into this topic let's jump in to some solos on Fortnite so first of all skill based matchmaking in some games is kind of appropriate and I really agree with it for example skill based matchmaking matchmaking is needed in games like CSGO since CSGO is a really competitive game and people play CSGO for all the competitive aspects and the community of casual players in CSGO is really really small because esports is a massive aspect of CSGO and obviously skill based matchmaking allows players to move up in ranks and push themselves to their limit and just play with people around their skill set but the vibes that Fortnite gives off and Fortnite as a whole isn't really the most competitive game in the world and Fortnite has a lot of casual players so a lot of the players that play Fortnite and the majority of the players aren't really looking to move up in ranks and improve massively, they're just playing it for the fun of it. So by adding skill based matchmaking obviously it just makes people have to try a lot harder and the game will obviously become far more competitive. Jeez, this guy's blind. PS4 players, man. <laughs> but as I was saying, Fortnite is just a very casual game at this point. But there's obviously really good players and there's obviously some, like, worse players. But as a whole, people don't really try their hardest to win the game all the time. Because you've got loads of people taking part in challenges, such as, like, the no-build challenge, or just trying to challenge themselves to become better. But the whole basis of Fortnite as a whole, people like Fortnite, is because it's a fun game, but it can be taken seriously. And I feel by categorising players into skill sets just would take the fun out. Because I feel like the best way to improve in games for players in general is to put them with harder skill sets and by putting them in situations with people who are more skilled than them this can obviously help improve the aim or improve the way they play because obviously the players in the lower skill set will adapt to the strategies used by higher skilled players and then use it to their ability and just improve in general it's just this one big cycle of improvement and the effect that this Fortnite update will have on the content and entertainment side of Fortnite by putting high skilled players such as live streamers with other higher skilled players this will mean that Fortnite YouTubers can't really mess around they always have to try hard if they want to win and they won't be able to do as many challenges as they would like because if they want to win they have to try the hardest and they can't really be entertaining but if epic games do make the decision to implement skill based matchmaking I feel like the effect would be really negative and by putting bad players with bad players there's no real room for improvement because they're really just going up against people who can't really aim and also a big effect of putting skill based matchmaking in opens up the opportunity for smurfing and literally everyone hates smurfing if you're unaware of what this is it's the process of someone lowering their scores and performing bad in the game on purpose so they lower their scores and get into games with people with a lower skill set. So you're then with your like 30-0 wins on Fortnite going against people who've probably won like a solid two games. I really want you guys to let me know down in the comments if you agree with my opinions or if you disagree and you want skill based matchmaking to be implemented into Fortnite. I mean I think it could ruin the game but possibly it could be the opposite and it could help the game. So yeah that's been the video guys hopefully you enjoyed this Fortnite co commentary and I hate saying that but hopefully you guys have enjoyed my opinions and me sharing my my opinions on the potential Fortnite update. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and become one of the elite squad. And as always, it has been your boy LSP Elite, and I'm Simon. Peace. Have a nice day, guys, and bye. Ooh, I'm a rebel just for kicks. I've been